We're going to continue looking at graphing quadratics, but now we're going to look at equations in vertex form. So a quadratic function written in vertex form is a parabola or a quadratic that's written in this form. y is equal to a parentheses x minus h squared plus k. Uh, and let's do a, a, a simple example. An example might be y is equal to 2 x plus 3 squared plus 7. And if you notice, the first thing that jumps out is notice that there's a negative in front of the h and a positive in front of the k. That's because we're going to treat h and k somewhat differently. So let's just make sure here this is a and this is h and this is k. And these are called parameters. And the parameters of a, h, and k will tell us what this graph looks like. So let's look and see what each one of these do. So the first thing is if we have this form y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k, then let's look at these in turn. The h, the h, what the h does is the a shifts the parabola left and right. So literally what is going on here is you have a parabola, it looks like this, and the h simply moves it back and forth like this. Now the key is the h changes signs. And let's see what we mean here. In this example here that we had, we had this is a positive 3. So it moves it left and right, but it moves it left and right by a negative 3. So this will move it in a negative direction because it's a positive number. And similarly, if you had a problem that looks like this, y is equal to 1 half x uh, minus 7 squared plus 6, this is going to move left and right, but since that is a negative, we change the signs and that's going to move it into a positive direction. In this case, a positive 7. The k the k is going to shift up and up and down. It shifts the parabola up and down. And what's interesting about the k is, unlike the h, the k does not change signs. So the h and k simply moves it left and right and up and down. And what's going to be interesting is the vertex of a parabola will always simply be hk. So let's look at a couple problems on that. Let's look at a function and then let's find out what its vertex is. So let's look at y is equal to x plus 4 squared plus 6. Well the vertex, the vertex is always hk so the h is 4, but it's going to change signs, so the vertex is going to be a minus 4 and a positive 6. Let's do another one. y is equal to 3, x plus 5 squared minus 10. The 3 outside doesn't affect the vertex at all. We'll see what it does in a second. Here, the vertex will be a negative 5 and a minus 10. Let's look at one more example. Let's do 1 half x minus 4 squared plus 17. The vertex in that case will be a positive 4 and a positive 17. Why a positive 4? Because the h is in changes sign, so it goes from minus 4 to positive 4. The k doesn't change sign, and that's how you find the vertex. So what this, this moves it uh, and left and right 4 and up and down 6. This one left and right 5, up and down 10, left and right 4, up and down 17. Now let's look at what the a does. The a actually does two things. So let's go back to our original problem and let's look at a. The a will do two things. The first thing is if a is negative, then the parabola will flip or open down. And what I mean by that is the parabola is going to look like this. 
and if a is positive, the parabola, parabola, parabola will open up. In other words, it doesn't flip. So a if negative flips. So let's look at this problem. In this case, none of these flip, so all of these open up. Because here, the number in front of here is a positive 1, here it's a positive 3, and here it's a 1 half. If, on the other hand, you had y is equal to minus 2, x plus 5 squared plus 3, this will flip the parabola. In other words, it will open down. The second thing that A does is it tells whether it's narrow or wide. So you look at the absolute value of A. If the absolute value of A is greater than 1, then this parabola is going to be narrow. And if the absolute value of A is less than 1, it's going to be wide. And what do I mean by wide or narrow? Well, you can look at two parabolas. And if you look at two parabolas, y is equal to 3x squared will be very narrow. If you get y is equal to 1 half x squared, it's going to be fairly wide. That's what we mean by wide and narrow. Now, there isn't a really a wide or narrow. It's really wide or narrow compared to x squared. So let's look at quick examples y is equal to minus one-half x plus five squared plus seven. And let's ask ourselves, does this flip? And is it wide or narrow? This one, it's a negative, so it flips. So that's a yes, and it opens down. Let's do another one. y is equal to three x plus five squared plus five. Here, that's a positive number, so it doesn't flip. It opens up. So this would be yes, and this would be no. One more example. Y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 5 squared minus 4. This is a positive number, so that would be a no. It opens up as well. So it opens down if it's negative, it opens up if it's positive. Let's say if it's narrow or wide. In this case, um, this parabola here, you look at A, A is going to be minus one half. So the absolute value of A will equal one half, which is less than one. If it's less than one, then it's going to be a wide parabola. What we mean is it's going to be wider than y equals x squared. Here, a is equal to 3, so the absolute value of A is also equal to 3, so that means that's going to be narrow, or narrower than Y equals X squared. And this one, Y is equal to 2 thirds, I mean, sorry, A is equal to 2 thirds, so the absolute value of A is 2 thirds. If the absolute value of A is 2 thirds, that's less than 1, which means that's going to be wide. And that's the basic rules for parabolas or, or quadratic functions in HK form. In the next video, we'll go ahead and graph some.